Hi guys, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out. We're going to continue with the Jeffree Star Mystery Box tutorial series that I decided to do for my first YouTube uh, videos. If you watched my first one, thanks. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'm working on improving like the quality and the sound, but for now we're just going to stick to this and see how it goes. For this video, I'm going to take I'm Royalty, the liquid lipstick, and I'm thinking, I did play with this, the Ice Cream Boulevard um, lipstick. It looks like a cool tone blush, which I kind of really liked with this look that I was practicing with. The one thing that I noticed with this is and this is that they will stain your eyelid and your cheek just for like a little tiny bit but not crazy like i didn't feel like any like weirdness or like i didn't have any kind of reaction it just kind of stained and like i have dry skin so i did feel a little bit dry after like washing it off but it wasn't terrible you just put lotion on it and it's fine it went away and i am going to show you two looks this one and this one and it's going to be the I'm Royalty Liquid Lipstick as like a more casual look that you can probably pull off easier. And then a little bit more complicated, more like exotic look. So I hope this kind of inspires you guys to just get creative. Okay, so first we're going to start off with priming the lid. And I'm going to take the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And we're going to take the brush... JH08. This is um, a concealer brush and it works really well with concealer but it also gets the entire lid super quickly so I really like using it. Okay, we're not going to set any of the paint pot, we're just going to let it dry down naturally and move on. Now we're going to take the Blood Sugar Palette by Jeffree Star and we're going to go in with Cake Mix and we're going to do a little bit of dusting. We don't want it too pigmented. We just kind of want to make a contour shadow into the crease. I like to flick it out after I blend most of it in. I'm gonna go back in, dip a little bit more, just get a nice shadow. Okay, now that we did the nice um, shadow contour, we are going to take the Vintage Selection Paint Pot from MAC and we're just gonna take it on our finger. Let's zoom in for this just so you can kind of see um, how I do it. Okay, so this is how we're gonna apply it with our pinky and you're kind of just going to put it all over the lid just for some um, subtle light. Okay, now that I did that um, you can obviously stop here honestly and just do the rest of your makeup because it's actually just like a really pretty everyday look. I really like doing this on the regular anyway. But we're going to continue and make it really cool. Okay, now we're going to go in with I'm Royalty. This is the component. It's really nice. I love the packaging on Jeffree Star's um, cosmetics. Like everything, it's just so pretty. So we're going to zoom in a little bit and can show you how we're going to do this wing. So I'm just going to take it right from the doe foot on an eyeliner brush. It's a really tiny little brush. This one I got from Bare Minerals a while ago, but their brushes are really nice. It lasts forever. But I'm pretty sure you can get it cheaper at like Morphe or CVS or Ulta. Let's see it. Okay, so now we're going to start the eyeliner. Just go and take your time and you have to go back and like dip in the doe foot a couple of times. It's totally fine. It's normal.
So here is the eyeliner done. It looks really good. I really liked how it applied. It went really smooth on and you won't have a problem applying this. So let's move on. We're going to take the JH40 brush and we're going to go back in with Cake Mix and we're going to go do the under eye. So for this one, we're just going to take a bit of the product and smoke it out. Like this. So at any point, like after the eyeliner, if you guys don't really like smoking out your under eye, you can stop there. I do like the contour of the under eye, it kind of just brings everything together. I'm going to take the JH42, it's a really tiny brush also. It could be used for highlighting the brow, but I'm going to add a little bit more dimension right on the edge of my waterline, but not inside my waterline. And we're going to take Root Canal from the palette. Right here. Just dab a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is a pressed pigment, so it's going to have to be buildable, but we don't want to build it up too much. This is just more like um, adding dimension and not going straight for that purple electric color. So as you can see, I'm only going horizontally with the brush and just kind of following the line of my eyelashes. Now we're going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe and we're going to use Beam. We're going to take that on the inner corner just to lighten up a little bit. And I'm going to use the JH39 for this application. The look would be a lot nicer if I didn't have that, but whatever. Okay, now that we did the inner corner, and I am seriously shiny as hell, we're going to fix that. I do want to add some depth to the eyeliner, so we're going to take just like a regular black eyeliner. This one is Clinique, the pretty easy liquid eyeliner pen, and it is in black. And we're just going to make the smallest, smallest line. Now I'm going to drag it a little bit into the wing so it kind of blends. Okay, and this is it close up. You kind of see how I line my eye with the black just to add dimension. And it came out to this point here, kind of blending in with the purple eyeliner. And it does look really pretty. Now we're going to put on some foundation. And I'm going to show you guys how to use the Ice Cream Boulevard on my cheeks as blush. Okay, now that we have our face on and it's looking great, we are now going to do the blush with Ice Cream Boulevard. This is the little component. It's so freaking cute. I can't get over it. And this is what it looks like. It's a cool pink. It kind of looks like the early 2000s pink where you use that ice blue eyeshadow. It's kind of like a throwback. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put it on our hands to warm it up. So just take your hand and kind of go back and forth and it'll look like this. I'm going to use the JH05 for this. You can use a normal blush brush, but make sure it's nice and clean and there's nothing on it. And I tried this before. I just want to warn you that it's super pigmented and it's going to come off really heavy. So only tap your brush once and then kind of like move it around on your hand for like a dab or two just to get rid of the excess pink. So we're just going to go in once, dab it on our hand a little bit, and then go in with blush. And with the face, I did my concealer, under eye powder, just a little bit, um, my contour and bronzer, but I did not put any powder in this area besides the bronzer and underneath my eyes. Since it's technically a cream, I don't want it to get like caught in any of the powder if it were to be on my cheek area right here. So just keep that in mind. Okay. 
and I bring my blush all the way back here. And there you go. See how cute this side looks in comparison to this. Okay, and now I'm going to finish up the face. I do use two blushes usually to blend in with my contour in the back. So I'm going to do that. And I usually use the Tarte blush. This is from last year. They're like little blush book. I think it's the best thing I've ever bought. And we're going to come back when I'm done. So I put on my other blush, my second blush, and I only put it right here. I kind of blend in the contour and the bronzer and the blush all together. I use Skillful in this Tarte book. I want to use um, an eyeliner for the waterline. I'm not going to use black. I do want to use a Jeffree Star liquid lipstick just because they're eye safe. I'm going to be using the Celebrity Skin in a little tiny bottle. So cute. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my hand. Like so. And then I'm going to take the M165 brush from Morphe and we're going to go in our inner corner. And we're going to gently put this on. Dip the sides of the brush for this just so you can kind of place it on like this way instead of like that way. Let it dry for a second and you're done. These don't feel like regular eyeliners because you're not really poking them into your eye, you're kind of just placing them on. So you don't really get that residue in your eye when you're using this technique. This is the final look for the I'm Royalty eyeliner and the Ice Cream Boulevard Lip Ammunition as blush. I do kind of want to make it more of a crazier look. So if you want to stay tuned for that, keep on watching. And if you just like this look, then leave it right here because it's really pretty. I did use Celebrity Skin on my lips to tie it all together. We're going to go from here to the next version of this eyeliner look. Okay, so for the next version of this look, we're going to extend the eyeliner into the crease to make it more of a cut crease. Take the same small eyeliner brush you've been using and let's go in. We're going to be thinning it out closer to the end of our line and it's going to be just past the iris so we're going to make it more of a fade. And it's okay if you kind of get it like right here, like where I got it. We wouldn't cover that up anyway. Okay, now that we did the eyeliner on both sides, just a fair warning, this is really hard to do on each side perfectly. So don't get frustrated if you kind of mess up on one eye or one eye is a little bit uneven. You're not going to see such a crazy difference. So don't get too frustrated. Okay, now that we have both eyeliners done, it's really cute and I really like how this turned out. This eye, I feel like, is bigger than this eye, so this is always going to look slightly different. I've come to terms with it, but it is what it is, so we're going to keep going. And then we're going to go back with the Blood Sugar Palette to finish this up. We're going to go back in with Root Canal, and we're going to deepen up this area and go along the crease. I'm taking the JH40 brush. As you can see, we're not putting that much product on. We're only bringing the crease up in color to match the under eye. Okay, now that we have both eyes done with root canal and the crease, we're going to move on. I want to take Candy Floss from the Blood Sugar Palette and I want to put it on top of the lid right here and pack it on. We're using any kind of packer brush. We're going to put some Fix Plus on top. Okay. 
Okay, this is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoy this, and I hope to see you back soon for my next part of my mystery box. Thanks, bye!